It's Battle of the Pinters, Scotland versus England. I've got my two pinters in front of me. Um, the Marshall's glove is the Scottish one, and I actually brewed it using Highland Spring water. And for the English one, I've gone and used Buxton water. I've put four and a half litres of water into each of these, and then I've put the one litre press as well. I've brewed them to the short brew time scale and the short conditioning time, meaning they may not be in the most optimum condition, especially on the conditioning side, but it's a fair enough test for both of them. Let's pour some beer and taste them. Straight away, I can see there is a color difference between the Scottish one and the English one. This is a darker color, but that was to be expected as the Scottish one is a amber ale and this is an English pale ale. It's a more straw color. I'm going to try the Scottish one first. This is a higher ABV, it should be about 5.8, maybe even 6% with my um, shorter brew of it, as in less water. Um, considering it's short brew, short conditioning time, slightly hazy, yes. I haven't conditioned it long enough, but it does look good. Nice carbonation rising on it. Kept the head well compared to the English Pale Ale right now. Let's take a nose. Okay. Not too much on the nose, a bit of malt uh, flavour. Let's tuck in and try it. That's nice. It's, um, it's carbonated out well, good carbonation in there, not overly carbonated. And it's got a nice um, malty, biscuity taste to it. That, that's really nice. Now, the English Pale Ale one, um, the Free Lions has, the head's not retained as much. Um, this was one day less brewing than this one. This one's down as, I think, four days in this one. No, this is five days, that's four days. Um, so the head's not retained too well on there. Again, not too much on those, it does come across a bit like a pale ale, which is what it's going for. Let's try it then. Nice bit of sweetness on it as well. Ooh. That's quite refreshing, especially for this hot weather at the moment. Oh dear, I thought this would be very easy to um, compare and work out which I think's best. controversial I don't think I am I think they're both really good beers but with the hot weather this is much better it's um, it's like a gold now it's pale ale that's nice and easy um, bit of sweetness easy to drink this is a bit more complex body uh, more to it but it's probably better for slightly colder weather um, up in Scotland, yeah. <laughs> but it is, it is still a really good beer. I like both of these. I do like them, they do their style really good. So that's the Scotch Ale and that's the English Pale Ale. It's just the sweetness and if you haven't seen my other videos, it's got a bit of a sweet tooth, yeah. I do like the sweeter beers and uh, this one does it well. The head retention though on this one is much better. Um, nice little lacing around the glass as well. You can see the lacing on this one, but it's not hanging to it too much. Not like how it's hanging to this glass. Could be a glassware, um, but you can see on the front pores here, and these are nucleated glasses, so the head's retaining more, but this has a much better head than this one. And that's even on a nucleated glass and it'll pour at the same time. So, England wins on the taste test right now because of the hot weather, but this is a good drop as well. 
I do have the uh, Welsh Red Ale or Bale um, and I only have two pinters so I will be brewing that one later during the tournament and I hope Wales makes it through to that further stage so I can drink it on one of their games. I'll be drinking maybe both of these during the game. Um, let's see how it goes on the weather as well. Um, just to say though, if you are interested, um, Fast at 50 has done a side-by-side -side tasting of all three of them. I will link his channel below and uh, it's worthwhile watching his opinion as well, seeing what others think. Um, so definitely check out his channel. Anyways, until next time guys, take care.